Okay, so you don't have $600 to drop on the lightest tent in the world. Well, there's a very similar tent that is half the price, but also twice the weight, which is still very lightweight at just 26 ounces. But how else do these tents compare? This is the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo versus the Z-Pax Plex Solo. So you may have seen my video from a few weeks back where I took my first look at the brand new Z-Pax Plex Solo. The Plex is the lightest tent currently on the market at 13.7 ounces, but it's also $600. And the more that I've been using it, the more that it reminds me of the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo. So I thought, let's do a comparison for anyone who is interested in the Plex Solo, but not the $600 price tag. Okay, let's take a look at the similarities here. Both of these are single wall trekking pole tents. Both are for one person. Both have a single pole TP design. Both have a similar floor shape. Both have a mesh lining along the bathtub floor. And both are made by small cottage manufacturers. But how do they compare? So obviously the biggest difference here is the weight. As I already mentioned, the Z-Pax Plex Solo is 13.7 ounces as a weight on my home scale, whereas the Lunar Solo is a little bit less than double that at 25 ounces weight on my home scale. But the Lunar Solo is also bigger on the inside. Both the Plex and the Lunar are seven and a half feet long, but the Lunar is 15 inches wider at the center and it's 20 inches wider at the head and the feet. And all those extra inches make a big difference. The Plex uses a single trekking pole set to 52 inches, whereas the Lunar uses a single trekking pole set to 49 inches. So while the Plex is technically taller on the inside, the Lunar still just feels so much bigger. Price is where the Lunar Solo really shines. At only $250 for a spacious tent that only weighs one and a half pounds. Whereas the Plex Solo is a little more than double that at $600. I will note the Lunar Solo doesn't come with seam sealing, so you're either going to have to do that yourself or pay Six Moon Designs $35 to have them do it for you. And neither of these tents come with stakes, so you're going to have to buy those separate. The last major difference is the material. The Plex is made out of 0.55 ounce per square yard Dyneema composite fabric, which is some of the lightest, if not the lightest, tent material available on the market today. The Lunar is made out of 20D silicone coated polyester, which is almost as stiff as Dyneema, but costs a whole lot less and packs up a whole lot tighter. There's a few key differences in design starting with the door. The Plex has a full rainbow door that falls into the tent or sometimes onto the ground when it's fully open. And in my experience, it has to be fully open before you can get in and out of the tent. Whereas the Lunar has a hanging half rainbow door, which I think I prefer, even though I can only enter on one side and I have a tendency to sit on the door pulling the tent down in a weird way. But I still prefer that to a door that I have to reach all the way across the tent to open and then falls onto the ground. The Lunar also has a small hang cord that I found very useful for hanging a headlamp, get a little bit more light at night for reading or doing something similar. The Plex has no way to hang anything from the ceiling at all. The Lunar has a small vent at the top to help moisture escape, minimizing condensation. But the Plex has an overhanging canopy that will keep you dry even in light rain with the vestibule fully open. The only problem with this overhang is how low it seems. Anytime I'm trying to get in and out of the tent or even when I'm just trying to air up my air mattress from outside the tent, the low overhang just seems in the way. The Lunar doesn't have the overhang, but you can raise and lower the vestibule using the simple presser cord to allow you to get more airflow while staying dry even in a light rain. And the vestibule opens up all the way, causing no problems to get in and out of the tent. The Plex has a unique overlapping vestibule closure that I find just a little bit difficult to tighten from inside the tent, whereas the Lunar has a more traditional zipper on its vestibule. The Plex has an 8 inch deep bathtub floor, which if you remember from my first look video, I had a difficult time getting it any deeper than 4 inches. Well after several more pitches, you'll be glad to know that I've gotten a whole lot better and have managed to achieve a full 8 inch depth. The Lunar Solo has a 6 inch deep bathtub floor, but I'm still having a hard time getting it to pitch any deeper than about 3 inches. Last but not least, both of these tents require at least 6 stakes to pitch. You can go up to as many as 8 on the Lunar Solo and as many as 10 on the Plex Solo. So there you have it, the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo versus the Z-Pax Plex Solo. But which one of these tents is the better tent? Well, that's a really hard decision to make because even though the Lunar Solo is larger with more features, the Plex Solo is so lightweight that you don't expect things like that. But if you push me to say which one I would choose, I probably would go with the Lunar Solo simply because of the price. $250 is incredibly affordable and 1.5 pounds is still very lightweight. So for those two reasons alone, I would probably choose the Lunar Solo. But which one of these tents would you choose? Let me know in the comments below. Quick thank you to Justin from Justin Outdoors for allowing me to use his 360 camera. And do me a favor, if you plan to purchase one of these tents, please do so through the links in the description. I'll earn a small commission and no additional cost to you, and you'll help support me in the videos that I'm putting out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at MyLifeOutdoors, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot better.